Organization reveals tuberculosis remains one of the world's top killers. In the Philippines, one survivor shares her story as she hopes for better treatment for this potentially deadly illness. Our TWT report from Jackie Pascual. <laughs> So I have to make sure I this is Louis Zepeda, a health advocate and an employee of a policy-making body. Because of tuberculosis, she lost her sight. She was an architect doing several projects, but eight years ago, she was diagnosed with TB. Louis says she was given many medicines, one of which caused her blindness. They told me that three out of four of the medication is resistant to the body, meaning it's not effective. We need to double your medication and we need to triple your duration of drinking. So from six months, they made it to 24 months. Louis says she experienced many side effects like paralysis, Parkinson's, and depression. Her family had to spend millions of pesos for her treatment. On top of that, she lost her job. She was eventually cured of TB, but her medicines had long-lasting effects. I was looking for ways to, to dramatically uh, kill myself. You know, it's just it's, I, I had no idea it would actually happen to me. With the help of family and support groups, she managed to overcome her depression. One of her biggest supporters is her then-college sweetheart. In the first stage of the, of the blindness, I asked him to just look for another girl. Because I, I don't want to feel that kind of insecurity. But he held on and we were able to um, get married after my graduation. The next challenge for her is having a baby since doctors told her she might be infertile because of the medications she took. But Louis is determined despite negative feedback from others. I had a lot of discrimination because in the, in the hospital they told me you shouldn't have uh, gotten pregnant because of your situation or um, because you're blind, you, I think you're incapable of doing such a duty. <laughs> About two years ago, Zui was born. Louis now says she feels lucky, but she hopes government will address problems in the health sector. The assumption that it's uh, an old disease, most likely it'll just happen to the poor people. It's not true. It's, it's actually very active right now. They're just, apparently the patients dies right away. The program in um, that the, the, the local government is, um, the national government is doing is incomplete. All of these side effects is not covered by our PhilHealth Phil card. Louis is now being asked to speak in various events around the world. She was recently in Australia where she pleaded for support for TB patients. The Australian government heeded her call and pledged 30 million Australian dollars to fund research to find cheaper and more effective medicine, one that won't cause blindness. The World Health Organization says TB is one of the world's top infectious killers. In 2013, 9 million people fell ill with TB and 1.5 million people died. The WHO asserts countries need to do more to end this deadly disease. Jackie Pascual, ABS-CBN News.